How are you? Very good. It's nice to see you. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. All right, here we are, Fort Field. Yeah, very exciting. Love this place. Good memories for you here. Lots of memories here. Yeah. Lifetime of memories here. So where's the best spot in the house? So I know we sit right behind uh, the team, uh, the 50 yard line. Wow, lucky, uh, that's a great spot. Yeah, about halfway down. So I, I love that spot, that's my favorite. You, uh, you get to know the players a little bit more and kind of what's behind their dreams and what's going on. And so you kind of you're just cheering for them and rooting for them in addition to the game. Robin, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Perfect. my pleasure. Yeah, we're excited to get a chance to sit down and get to know you a little bit more. And it sounds like you come from a pretty rich background. You tell me a little bit about growing up and, and where you come from. Yeah, so I, uh, uh, I grew up at a dairy farm. My dad uh, was a dairy farmer his whole life, um, from the day he was born until the day he died. Um, and um, so I'm very used to the whole 24-7, 365, work is life and life is work and getting up in the morning. And um, a lot of, of what I know about, um, you know, being independent and persevering and um, being uh, determined comes from, you know, you, it's a place that you have to survive and thrive all at the same time. And that was here in Michigan. You're a Michigan girl. I am a Michigan girl. I've spent my whole career here. I have, have about um, 30 years in the healthcare industry. I actually started at uh, uh, Deloitte as an auditor and a consultant, and it was there that I fell in love with um, healthcare. Uh, I was working on an audit of a small hospital at Eight Mile in Gratiot. That's where um, I, I determined that that's the place that uh, had my passion uh, when you talk about an industry and that, that comes to really in almost every position, in every position that I've had. Um, it is about um, really what we can do uh, to improve access and affordability here in the state of Michigan for care. And that affects your family, your friends, um, so it's very satisfying. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, you're we're here because you are our chief financial officer, uh, but obviously there was a lot to get you from uh, the dairy farm all the way to here, right? It was sure. a journey. Can you tell me, how did you end up in this role? What was your journey like? <laughs> well, a couple of things. You know, I always thought I wanted to be um, a certified public accountant. So I did. I became one. I went to Michigan. And um, I, uh, when I graduated from there, I, I started my um, first job with Deloitte, as I said. Um, but it was an interesting time to uh, work in their healthcare system. And what I started doing there was really more consulting work. Um, and so my interest really blossomed into um, as much financial, more about operations and strategy and business development. So over the course of my career, I have. Um, I've been a controller, I've been a CFO, I've been a chief business development officer. Um, I've also had the opportunity to be a chief operating officer. And I've done that in three different institutions. So an academic medical center like Michigan Medicine, um, a large uh, national Catholic system, Trinity Health, and then here at Henry Ford, which is an integrated delivery system. And probably this is the best of both worlds, right? We have integrated care and coverage where we get to take care of the whole person. Um, so um, the ability to have an insurance company um, as a part of our company, like Health Alliance Plan, and to plan for people's benefits and help them think about how to best use them for health and wellness and not just when they're sick, we have a great opportunity um, with that partnership. And again, Henry Ford has a deep history um, around that. So this is like, this is where you are on the weekends, right? Yeah, a lot of weekends when they're here. Um, also, if you've ever seen a concert here, it's amazing. I haven't. Have you seen any good ones? Um, yeah, we saw Luke Bryan. Oh, fabulous. Are you a country fan? I am a huge country fan. Okay. So. There is nothing like being down here on the field. I think what excites me most about healthcare is um, particularly where we're going. It's gonna be very consumer driven. It's gonna be much more self-directed. Um, lots of things to do on our phone to get us um, engaged. But more importantly, we're sh shifting away from um, sick care um, and acute care to health and wellness. And I would say that doesn't mean our hospitals are going away. Our expertise that we have um, for tertiary quaternary care is still extremely vital. All the work that we do, uh, teaching the clinicians of the future, as well as allied health professionals, as uh, in the research that we do. 
Um, that is all a critical part of who we are, but all the insights that we learn from that, um, we have such an innovative spirit here at Henry Ford. To be able to drive that back out into the community and engage our community where they are um, early in their journey. So those who need us, because someone's always going to need us over here in what we do really, really well. Um, uh, there's all those others that we can touch early in their journey and we can make them a Henry Ford believer, right? We each have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to make someone a Health Alliance Plan member to get that journey started. Yeah, last weekend's game was, oh. Well, and I do fantasy football too, so I've got a lot of people on my team. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm not that hardcore. Well, this is a great question, but um, what lessons have you learned along the way? What's some wisdom you can impart to us? Oh yeah, well, there's a few there, but um, a couple of that, that I would select that I sort of live by, collaboration and partnership um, are essential. Uh, you get farther, faster with that bent um, because um, nobody does anything alone. Nothing can be sustained alone. Once you've built something, then if you move on to something else, you have to make sure there's somebody um, learning and staying and growing and expanding um, what you left behind. Um, so that's one of my um, live by rules and, and I pride myself on collaboration. I think the other big thing I've learned is really you have to listen. So the only way um, you're successful in collaboration or successful in moving large complex um, changes forward is listening to others. And part of listening um, is that what interests them because you've got to get alignment. So listening to find people's interests, to understand your own interests, to create alignment, um, that allows us to move really big, complex things forward. Yeah. We're better together, right? We are better together. Well, I'd love to see this. Yeah, this is really amazing. And uh, Dorothy Lynn's story um, is uh, one of many, um, but what better way um, to celebrate her, um, her surviving cancer um, with, through our partnership. So our partnership uh, with the Lions is really important. I think um, what it does is it brings a level of awareness when you bring two great brands together um, to be really able to engage the community, um, not just about our cancer services, about cancer screening, about health and wellness, about getting out in the community, whether you're coming to a game or you're going for a walk in the park. Um, and both um, Henry Ford and the Lions, our brands are synonymous with those things. We're unstoppable. Yes, yeah, thank you. And so this is the Women in Leadership series, right? And we're so proud of our women leaders. Um, what would you tell the upcoming generation of women who are entering the workforce, going to school, thinking about their career, whether it's healthcare or finance or whatever they want to do? Um, what, are, what are some bits of wisdom you can impart on, on women who are, who are looking to us as examples, right, of, of what they could be in their career? Well, the first thing I would say is dream big. There isn't anything that you can't do. Um, and look for people to help you along the way. Again, back to don't think you have to do it all by yourself. There are people who can give you uh, tips on how to navigate through a particular um, field. There are mentors who can help you um, through situations that you're preparing for, whether you're interviewing for a job or how do I get access or how do I network. I think the last thing that I would underscore there is really just networking. Get out there and meet people and, um, you know, be unabashed about what your skill set is. There's, there's just nothing you can't do, uh, nothing you can't learn. Um, and um, the ceiling has been broken in so many places recently. We just need to keep widening. What would you tell that young girl on the dairy farm if you could you know, talk to her today about what your life would become and, and the amazing organization that you would be a part of? What would you say to her? Oh, uh, my gosh. I guess when I think about it, I think I would say to her, you have no idea uh, how passionate you're gonna be <laughs> about your community and about the people that you work with and what we're able to accomplish together. Well, I didn't expect to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. Uh, you know, but I appreciate the honesty and, and the, um, you know, because I think a lot of us can probably look back at who we were when we were younger and not believe where we ended up. So I hope that our own organization and people who work for us can understand, or work with us, I should say, can understand that that's us, that's all of us, right? So 
Um, Robin Dam Schroeder, our Chief Financial Officer, it's been a true pleasure to talk with you and get to know you a little bit more. Oh, it's been my pleasure today, and it's been wonderful to get the chance to know you as well, Lauren. Thank you. We're so lucky to be surrounded by leaders like you, so thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, they're going to edit all this. They're right. definitely going to edit. There will be no awkward silences, <laughs> no, no tripping. <laughs>